Hey what's up everyone welcome to NCX Tech in this video i'm going to show you five of the best lightweight linux distros that you can install on older hardware in 2025 if you have got an old laptop or desktop that struggles to run modern operating systems these distros are designed to be fast efficient and easy to use even on low spec machines we'll even include distros that still supports 32-bit systems which is rare these days and the best part, despite being lightweight, these distros are completely usable in modern times and surprisingly visually appealing too. Okay, let's get started. So let's start with Linux Lite, which I personally consider one of the easiest and most polished lightweight Linux distros out there. What makes Linux Lite special is its focus on simplicity and familiarity. It uses the XFC desktop environment, which is known for being light on the system resources while still offering a modern user-friendly interface. In fact, if you have been using Windows for years, Linux Lite feels pretty similar in layout and behavior, so there is almost no learning curve. It also comes pre-installed with essential applications like LibreOffice Suite, GIMP for image editing and VLC for media playback. This makes it an ideal choice for anyone who wants to install a system and get to work right away without having to download and configure a bunch of software. Now let's talk about system requirements. Linux Lite requires a 64-bit running at 1 GHz or higher, a minimum of 768 MB of RAM and about 8 GB of storage. However, it is recommended to have at least 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of storage for a smoother performance. Keep in mind though, since version 4, Linux Lite only supports 64-bit systems. So if you have a really old 32-bit PC, you might need to look at one of the other options I'll mention later. And next up is Lubuntu. This is an official Ubuntu flavor, but instead of using the resource-heavy GNOME desktop, like the regular version, it runs the much lighter LXQT desktop environment. This makes Lubuntu perfect for older computers or anyone who wants an operating system that's fast and efficient without a lot of unnecessary extras. What's great about Lubuntu is that it maintains full compatibility with Ubuntu software repositories, which means you can install thousands of applications with ease. The desktop is clean, minimal and modern. It doesn't overwhelm you with the features that you don't need but it's still fully functional for everyday tasks like browsing the web, watching videos and working with office documents. As for the system requirement, Lubuntu officially recommends having at least 1 GB of RAM for the installer to run and 2 GB or more for decent performance. A 64-bit processor is needed as well. Although they haven't listed a specific storage requirement, you'll generally want at least 8 to 10 GB of free space for the operating system and essential applications. Lubuntu is a great choice if you like Ubuntu's reliability but want a lightweight system. At number 3 we have Antix. And if you are dealing with seriously old hardware, this one is going to be your best friend. Antix is based on Debian but without systemd which helps keep it super lightweight and fast. It's designed specifically for older systems and can even run on non-PAE processors, which is something a lot of other modern Linux distros can't handle anymore. One of the standout features of Antix is that it can boot and run entirely in RAM. If you have enough memory, making it incredibly responsive even on older hardwares. It uses extremely lightweight window managers like IceWM, JWM and Fluxbox, which means it skips the more resource-heavy desktop environments but it still offers a graphical interface that is easy to navigate. As for the system requirements, Antix can run on a Pentium 4 or newer CPU with a minimum of 512 MB of RAM and 5 GB of storage. However, it's recommended to have at least 1 GB of RAM for a smoother experience, especially if you plan on using it for web browsing or multitasking. Antix is available in different editions like full, base and core, so you can choose the one that fits your hardware and needs best. Coming in at number 4 is Bodhi Linux, 
a distribution that stands out thanks to its unique Moksha desktop environment. Moksha is a continuation of the old Enlightenment desktop, known for being lightweight and extremely customizable. Bodhi Linux itself is built around the idea of minimalism. It gives you just a functional operating system with essential tools and lets you build a system as you like from here. The desktop is sleek, fast and visually appealing while using very few system resources. It doesn't come with a ton of pre-installed softwares which keeps the system light and snappy. This makes it perfect for the users who prefer install only applications they need rather than dealing with a lot of unnecessary bloat. When it comes to system requirements, Bodhi Linux is forgiving. It needs just a 500 MHz of CPU, yes you heard it right, with a minimum 512 MB of RAM and 5 GB of storage. Of course it's recommended to have at least 768 MB of RAM and 10 GB of storage for a smoother experience. And the best part is it supports both 32-bit and 64-bit systems making it ideal for really old machines. And finally rounding off the list at number 5 is MX Linux. This is a mid-weight Linux distro that strikes a perfect balance between performance and usability. It's based on Debian and uses the XFC desktop environment which is both light on resources and very easy to use. What makes MX Linux special is its great set of built-in tools called MX Tools. These make it easy even for beginners to handle tasks like configuring system services, managing software and creating live USBs. It also has excellent hardware support and tends to run very smoothly even on older hardware. In terms of requirements, MX Linux asks a modern i686 Intel or AMD processor, at least 1 GB of RAM and 8.5 GB of storage. For better performance, it's recommended to have a multi-core processor, 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space. MX Linux is also one of the rare distros that still offer both 32-bit and 64-bit versions, which is a huge plus for people working with old systems. And that wraps up my list of top 5 lightweight Linux distros for older hardware in 2025. Whether you are working with a decade old laptop or a modern desktop, one of these distros will give it a new lease on life. Let me know in the comments which one you are planning to try or if you have already used any one of these. I would love to hear about your experience. And I hope you enjoyed this video and if so please like and share the video. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.